Hello. Hi, everyone. Hello. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. Very well. Okay. Why, why are you turning off your camera? My forehead is whiter day by day. That's why I need to cover with my hair. Hello, hello. Hi, Jen. Yes. Okay, so like, are you okay right now? Yes, here yeah, I'm normal now, Jen. Now you're normal now. Okay, <laughs> so previous time you were abnormal. <laughs> <laughs> If you say so, if you say so, you mean that previous time you are abnormal and then now you become normal. <laughs> okay, just a joke. <laughs> okay, Linto. Ah, yeah, Linto, Linto. Linto, Linto did, you, did you change your roof? Yes. Okay. Oops. In Burmese, it's a common letter, right? Uh, it's hard. Oh, the weather is hot. Okay. Yep. Mm. Hello, Dalia. Are you there? Are you there or are you in line, Daya? Uh, no. At home? Yes. Okay, thank you. And then, where did we finish last week? Can you tell me page number, please? Or we are done. Which chapter we have done? We have done until page one to seven. Yeah, I remember the snake, the yeah. snake shape, right? One, two, seven. Okay, so how about with your teacher Duza, which unit you are going with her? Next book. Next book, great. Do you want to go next book or do you want to learn one more chapter in this book? Did we finish Munich Museum then? Yes, we've already done, right? One, five, six. No, yet, not yet, right? We haven't done music and dance. Okay, so now let's go to Uni 11. Oh, so which book? Music and dance. Um, Cambridge checkpoint. Oh, uh, eight or nine, sir. Oh, okay, you think. Gotcha. We are done. Uni eight. 11 with teacher Dusa. Oh, you are done with teacher Dusa? Yes. Oh, okay. So. A lot of nonsense. Let me check in the 12. Uh, this is about warm song and story.
Okay, I think we better go to. Can you tell me the book name? I just joined it right now. That's of the Legend City Cat Pop. Yeah, we are looking for. We are choosing the the chapter. I think we also we should go to next book. Oh, that be fine. The 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 checkpoint nine. Yes, chapter no checkpoint nine. Global nine, right? You're you're working with two judges. I said well, global nine. Yes. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah. So checkpoint nine stand. Nine. 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 Okay. Which page? Okay, let me see first. You are going with you are going chapter one with Shetusa, right? So I think I better choose two. Oh, okay. So now let's go to unit two. Okay, so for chapter two, the type the topic is right. The topic is personal appearance. So all dress up. Yeah, look, you have to look at the people in the picture. Which of these words would you use to describe what the people in picture when are wearing? Traditional, formal, and informal. Oh, Jay. Excuse me, Jay. Like, what did you see? Page oh, number see? fourteen. Ah, uh, yeah, Jay. Uh, what is the exercise? Okay. My question is: You have to look at the people in the pictures. Which of these words would you use to describe what the people in picture one are wearing? Traditional, formal, or informal? Oh, uh, Jay. I think both of them are traditional. Traditional. Yes, yeah, Jay. Like traditional. Hmm. How about people in two? How how about people in picture two? Do you do you think picture one is traditional? Yeah, I think both of the both of these are traditional, maybe. Okay, so how about others idea? Um, for me, I think picture one is informal. Picture one is formal. And then how about picture two? Do you know differences between formal one and traditional? You don't know? Hello, Ling, are you there? Um, yes, yeah, I'm here. Yes, do you know differences between formal wearing style and traditional wearing style? Um, to like in Myanmar, we normally wear uh, an informal uh, dress uh, like a sole and tie bone. A sole and like t-shirt or like yeah, the 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 traditional are uh, like the, the the dresses that 
did the kings wear like how many years ago? Like we were in our Alu Che Kuin Wede Ching. Kuin Wokin. Alu Puema Wede Hang. Yeah. Ah, uh, yes. Right. And then how about Lento? Elvin, what's your idea? Uh, which one is uh, informal uh, vegetables from formal or traditional? Mm -hmm. So can you discuss about differences between formal and traditional? You know, if we say frankly, formal one, a formal style is like, how should I say, like a gentleman style, okay? If you wear like gentleman style, that's what we call the formal. And for traditional wearing style is if you are Burmese, okay, if you're Burmese, you have to wear with the, for the men is with a, like a dome. And then another one is a tight bone, right? For Korean people, maybe for Korean people, they are traditional, uh, they are traditional clothes, it's with a Korean dress and then Korean logi, right? So but like this is a little different. But even they are traditional, they may have informal and formal as well. You know, formal is formal wearing style. Formal, formal wearing style is if we go to like a wedding, yes, as, as Lynn said, right? If we go to a wedding or if we go to the donation ceremony, we mostly, okay, most of us, so we, we usually wear a formal style. Right, but traditional style is maybe sometimes uh, you may see some of the some of the girls, some of the ladies. Okay, they are wearing with traditional style you know, blouse and longi, and then you get, they they can okay when they go outside. Like this different, right? So I think you are clear for the definition of difference between formal and traditional, right? So can you think about picture one and picture two again? Yeah, I think picture one is formal and picture two is traditional. Okay, so when we see picture one, let's see the background situation. Okay, so where are they taking photo? So maybe I like a dumbo. Or maybe tumble, or maybe they went to pagoda or somewhere else, right? Okay, so so for that occasion, will they wear formal style or traditional or informal? So you know you can see that you know they are very how should I say? Uh, they are very active. It can be like traditional, right? Because you know, you can see they are, they are, how should I say? The one they have already, okay, they have already packed it in their head. And you can see a man in the, in the white blouse. And then he is a, he is wearing a Lao Wen. Oh, no, 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 no. The first one, okay, for the land, you know, there are three, 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 three people, right? The first one, the lady. Okay, let's see the ladies wearing style. The lady wearing style is she only just she is wearing blouse, and then the longi is just like normal one. And for the men, for two men, okay, but maybe only just they are you know the way they are tagging their head is only just different. But maybe for the left one, okay, a man, uh, a man in the left of the photo. It's like normal, normal shirt, right? He is wearing normal shirt, but longi is different. Okay, so the man in the right in the photo is as well. He is smiling. He is wearing glasses. Okay, he is wearing sunglasses, and then you can check his his shirt. Okay, his shirt is the one you usually wear, right? So we can say that this one is um, maybe informal, right? But they want to mix up with the uh, traditional a little more because 
we can see you know which which is wearing on the in on their head and their longi okay like that and for picture two you know the way she the way they smile is like a gentleman or gentle lady right so it must be formal wearing stuff Lolo, do you want to say something? And uh, no check. And I don't know, oh. like picture, it's either or tradition. Uh, no picture too formal because they are when semi and check in in they are you they are Samian people. High class people. Oh, yes. Yeah, high class people. Okay. The way they, they are wearing is like high class people? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So whatever now, let's move on to page 15. So you have to read about traditional Indonesian dress and find the item you are telling in picture one. Okay. Oh, how would you pronounce S A P U T? Just <laughs> sabuja. <laughs> Thanks, Kao. You you don't say sabu. <laughs> okay. Thanks, God Sabut. <laughs> okay, you better check in in dictionary, right? How would you pronounce S A P U T? Che, it's not an English in English word. Yeah, yeah, it's not English. Word. That's just in Indonesian word. Mm. Okay, so please read. The traditional Indonesian dress and find the item in Italian pictures. Okay, please read it first. Are you done? So if you are done, you have to find the item in italics and picture when. So uh, maybe saput, it's a piece of clothes. And it is word from words to knee over the kambin. The wider piece of fabric worn from waist to ankle. Men and boys wear the kambin tied in the center, whereas women girls tie it at the side. Many boys also wear a head dress called, um, how should we pronounce? How shall I pronounce that one? U D E N G. Udan. Maybe Udan? <laughs> Udan or Udan, not Udan, right? Maybe Udan. And if the ceremony is informal, an ordinary shirt is worn. 
Okay, but if the ceremony is an important one, a word shared with gold button is required. You see, the left one and the right one. Okay, so the left one is informal one, informal shirt, right? Informal shirt. And for the formal style, okay, if the ceremony is an important, right? You have to wear with a white shirt with gold button. Okay, and then next one is women and girls wear a long sleeve lacy blouse with loose sleeves called a kabaya with a cabin. Although in the past for formal ceremony, they wore a tight fitting piece of material around their body and over the shoulder. Hmm. Okay, so it's sure that picture two is formal wearing style. And then picture one is informal but traditional. Hello, Lami, are you okay? Hello, Lami. You can't. Are you there? Yes, I'm here, sir. Okay. Are you on page number 14 or 15? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, me 14 or 15. 15, sir. Okay, great. If you are 15, you will stay correct. <laughs> okay, so, okay, so now I wanted to discuss with you. Is anyone who is different, how should I say, race? So, like, are you Burmese or Korean or Chinese? Um, I'm 100% Burmese teacher. Sorry? I'm 100% Burmese teacher. Oh my God, 100% Burmese, yes. <laughs> for, me it's, for me, it's mixed flat, okay. And then, Elvin. Obviously, I'm Burmese. You're also Burmese? 100% Burmese? Yes, I love Okay, great. How about Nito? Me too, teacher, I'm Burmese. Oh, okay, great. Saka. Okay, my mom said I'm 100% Burmese, but I don't think so. I'm mixed with like Chinese blood. Okay, why do you say so? Why why you say so you are mixed up with? I don't know, like my skin is like so white. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, your skin is too, your skin is too white. You mean like that? Maybe when you, when you, Pregnant? When you were in pregnancy, when you were in pregnancy, and then your mom maybe drank a lot of milk. Is that so? I don't know. <laughs> okay, so long, long. And yeah, I, I like sixteen percent Korean, Korean, and like fourteen percent more. Okay, Korean mom. Yeah. Yes. I'm Burmese. Burmese. Uh, I'm mixed with uh, Chinese and Indian. Chinese and Indian? Yes, yeah. My father's side has like lots of Indian blood in him. Yeah. That's why my father looks kind of Indian. Yeah. Yes. And my mother also has like Chinese. And uh, when we go like overseas, and some Chinese people saw and like uh, they would uh, speak in Chinese to her, but she doesn't understand. Oh, okay. If you are really uh, miss up, miss play with Chinese and Indian, you might be very handsome one. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because you know, yeah, because Indians are Indians, you know, their face and their, their nose and their eyebrows and the, their eyes are very, very beautiful, right? So if your skin is white, you see how much, how, how much you will be gentleman. Well, I'm brown, not white. Oh, you're brown. <laughs> okay. So why you're brown? Ah, oh, because, uh, because of yeah. your... Yeah, yeah, because of the, the... I swam a lot when I was young, yeah, and I become black. Yeah. Okay, so how about um next one is Etat? How about you? 
Oh, I'm 100% done these two. Oh my god. Yes. Because I am going to do activity this one. Can you? So Nian Zhao. Becca is Chinese. And then Nian Zhao is missing with Indian and Chinese. So Long Long. Mon. Mon and Karen, right? Long. Yes, Jeff. Yes. It is 100% Burmese. How about Lin? Hello, Lin. There you are. Hello, Jay. Did you ask me? Yeah, I asked you. Are you playing oh, yeah. game? Like, oh, no, I was like lagging, Jay. Ah. And also, Jay, the level CD is cut out, Jay. That's fine. Yeah, electricity, electricity is cut off at my place as well, previous time. Electricity is cut off and Wi-Fi is also cut off. No, the internet is cut off, the Wi-Fi is it. Yeah. The internet is still cut off. Oh, yeah, I have to try with mobile data as well. Yeah. Okay, yep. Situation. So now let's talk about guess, this, uh, business. Yep. Are I you guess... Um, I yeah, guess I'm um, Burmese. Yeah, Burmese. But I don't, I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. What do you say so you're Burmese? Uh, I mean, to be honest, I don't even ask my mom and dad like <laughs> Yeah, that's why. I think you don't but you I don't look I'm like Burmese. Burmese. You don't look like Burmese. But uh, like I think Burmese, Burmese, yeah. Hmm. Okay, so you can. Uh, uh, Korean Burmese. Ah, oh, can you speak Korean language? And um, Tonya. <laughs> ah, Tonya, I know that. Tonya, Sanya. Do you know Sanya? No. Hmm. You don't know Sanya. You know Tonya only just because you like it, right? You like Tonya, that's why you like it. You do like Tonya and then so you know it, right? Sanya, Sanya is a, you know, okay, okay, go. Oh, it, it, oh, it's a Sanya. Right? Sure, I have a question. Yes. yes How about you, Are you mixed or are you just like 100% uh, Burmese? What do, you, what do you think of me? Oh, uh, maybe uh, Mo or Karen. Oh, maybe. really? No, sir. Yeah, do... it's, just my, it's just my random guess here. Oh, okay. Do, do I look like Karen face? No, sir. It's just my guess here. Oh, okay. Maybe, you know, if, we, if, I, if I asked, okay, I, when I was in, I asked my mom. My mom said that, okay, my great-grandfather, my great-grandfather was Karen. And my, oh. father, yeah, my father was, uh, my father was a uh, hundred percent Burmese, you know. So my mom's, my parents, how should I say? My parents' uh, marriage life is very amazing, right? So my 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 daddy, my dad lived in Maitila. Okay, so he is hundred percent Burmese. Okay, my mom, she lived in. Iawari division, right? So maybe you may not know that the village name. Okay, maybe so most of the Iawari uh, region ladies are Karen, right? And then they, they got married because of their you know parents. Parents engaged and then they got married. So we so we we said that you might be a lebai and outbuying Uza, right? Like that. So <laughs> Sounds maybe, amazing. <laughs> okay, so I miss black. So the way I speak, the way I think, it's a little different from other people sometimes. But yeah, you seem Burmese, yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah. So how about Lamme? You are hundred percent Burmese. Yes. Oh, okay. So what I want you to do right now is. 
Taka. Okay, you have to. Taka, are you there? Yes. Okay. Taka, you have to look for Chinese tradi traditional wearing style, right? <gasps> oh my god. Okay. So, Nianza, you have to look for Indian. Oh, sure, like, but, uh, there are like lots of, you know, Indian tri races. So, so, I don't really know my kind. Oh, yeah. Sure. No, no, no. You, you, uh, you, you don't need to choose about your kind, right? Only just you have to choose the one you want. That's it. Uh, sure, sure. Okay. So, now let's do it. Yeah, Daga, please do it. Please look for the traditional dress for the Chinese people. And then, Nianza, Indian before Indian people. Long, long. You better, you better look for mom. Okay, mom traditional wearing style. Okay. Okay, and you can't. You have to look for current traditional wearing style. Okay, so you have to look for that. Is there any uh, informal traditional wearing style or formal wearing style, right? Like the the text set. Okay. Um. Uh, Sule, which one do you want to look for? From Yama. No, as you like. Is there any traditional one? Um, any traditional? Japanese? 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 Okay. Yes. Okay, Japanese, great. So now you can look for it. Get okay, their wearing style. You have to look for formal and formal, right? And Elvin. Hmm. Which one do you want to look for? I actually say I want to find out the very solution to that. Sorry, you want to look you want to find out what is it? I want to find out the very solution to that. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> Choose another. There are so many, right? Uh, how about Philippines? So, Philippines. Philippines, yes. It's also interesting. Yeah, Elvin okay. is a so I, have, I have a question. Is it only just like formal and mm. informal? Or, or yeah, like you, a... you, you... you can search oh, for the you found out, right? Okay, sir. Just I just want new knowledge for your friends, right? So how about need to um whatever did you whatever, yeah, you have to think about it. Um, maybe Italian. Okay. Italian, great. And it, yeah, it. Uh, yeah. Can I just think in local traditional? Yeah, no problem. Uh, how about Shen? So can I Shen? Take Shen? Yes, great Shen, great. Okay. How about Lin? Yeah, Shen. Yeah, which one do you want to look for? Then Lamy, you can think about it as well. Um, okay, maybe Japanese. Japanese already then already chosen. So what about Chinese? Chinese is also taken. How? Huh? Shen. Sorry? Shen. Shen. <laughs> I'm sorry. It has already taken Shen. Oh my god. Yeah. Mexican. Yes. Okay. Great. Mexican. And then Laminka go. Yes. Yeah, which traditional style do you want to look for? You mean Thailand? Yes. Okay, yes, great. Okay, now please do it. Nika, are you still looking for it? Yeah. Okay, great. And then please save the photos, right? You have to save the photos, right? And after that, you have to share the screen to your friends. All your friends can see it. 
and you have to explain that this is informal uh, informal wearing style, this is formal style, and this is uh, where they usually wear this style, it's like that, okay? Teacher, so I need to check the Shan uh, traditional dress or does their traditional dress? Mm, I, I, I don't get what you mean. Uh, I mean, the traditional dress goes so with Chagawamala, so they do a traditional way. Uh, you have, have, your, have you found out the Shan traditional dress? Yes, sir. Okay, is there any informal and formal wearing style in Shan tradition? Uh, it's formal too. Uh, it's formal, there is no informal style? Uh, yeah, I think uh, I saw this, I saw this just before. Mm. Because that's why I just think formal for me, yeah. Me, uh, Maybe as for me, I think, you know, there will be informal style because, you know, when they stay at home, Shan lady and Shan men, okay, they will wear informal style because they don't wear formal style at home, right? Uh, yeah, I know that because I live in Shan for two years. Oh, great. Yeah. yeah. You live in Shan stay for two years, right? So I think you better look for... Uh, formal style, informal. You, now you have found out formal style, so you better look for informal as well. Yes, sure. <laughs> yes, Daka. You're really creative, Daka. Okay, you have to look for a Chinese dress, and then now you have already changed the Chinese dragon. Yeah, okay, I great. became Chinese man. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Have you finished? Like uh, yes. What are you looking for? Yes, I finished. Mm. Okay, okay. Take, take it easy, take it easy, I, right? I got, you are uh, traditional dress mm. and mm. Uh, informal way. Yeah, informal way. Oh, okay. So, how about formal way? 
Yeah, I'm finding, still finding. Still looking for, I'm still looking for. Okay, take it easy. Your mustache is going to drop down. Hello, Lee, are you okay? You can't? Yes, yeah, I'm fine. Okay. So should I send the pictures in the fiber group? Mm, if you want to send, you can send it. And after that, you have to share your picture to your friends. Uh, teacher, what picture? I just drawing back. Oh, okay, Dalia. Now your friends are looking for the traditional dress for maybe for maybe from different country or some of your friend is looking for you know the local traditional wearing style okay so which one do you want to look for do you want which one do you want to search for do you want to search for uh how should i say local traditional wearing style or international wearing style so international wearing style means that you can look for the philippines already done italian then uh like as american or sweden or some country. You can choose one of them. Can I do England? Sorry? Uh, England. You can I just came I, I don't know. I, I, I didn't hear clearly. Sorry, Tanya. Can you read? Can you speak up? Can I do England? Are you mean England? Okay, yes. More. Lin, is that traditional dress? Chair. Three, three chair. Like the traditional and the formal and informal. So you mean the second one is? The second one is the formal one. Oh. Informal one is very beautiful. Um, yes, yes. Cutting yeah. through the detail. Yeah, formal dress. Formal dress is not much beautiful, right? Informal one is really cute. Yes, yeah, I think so. Mm. Mexican. Let me look for it. Let me look for is Mexican. So I'm really interested in it. Aline, so many, right? So many dress here. I sent three. Yeah, yeah, I see. No, I mean that, you know, I looked for, I looked for in Google and then I saw many, many dress. Hmm. Yes, I have seen such kind of dress. Okay, so how about others? Are you doing? Yes, teacher. Hmm. So can you send your photo? Um, can I just screen share? Yeah, okay, you can just screen. Yeah, you can see that. Do you see? In, in Paris, you know. 
Can you hear me? You do do your day, Sadin. So it's like, it's like it's like shouting, you know. Forgot that I have a mute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay, no problem. Yeah, you know. Do you see the Mexican so, uh, traditional size here? Female traditional dress. Not in in Paris, you know. When they have, you know, when they have the special occasion, they can wear like that. Hey, I want this one. Can you see it? Um, yes, I yes, see. This one, this one, okay. Okay, the men, I mean, the, especially for the men. Okay, for the men, they usually wear such kind of hats. And this is the men wearing style. Okay, this is the lady style. You can see it. Ah, okay. Okay, so. Mm. Yes, yeah, the men's style. Very, very beautiful, right? With men, with, you know, missing, missing up with many colors. Okay. Yes. Okay, that's it. So how about yours? Yeah, their hat reminds me of like a fried potato hat. Like it, it's a hat, but it's made out of potato chips. Like we can eat. Mm. You mean you mean that? Which one do you mean? You mean Mexican food? Uh, yes, yeah. Yeah. They like they in the Mexican invented like that food. Hmm. Okay. Nah. So then, yeah, has somebody sent England ladies dress? Okay. Then, yeah, it does. Yeah, uh, like th those dress are for formal occasion or informal occasion. Or traditional dress? Uh, what yeah, is it? Traditional dress. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think and the picture above uh like and only the royals wear that dresses, you know. Mm. And the first picture is mm. like Queen Elizabeth the the first. Wearing style. Yeah. Yeah. Oh uh, her wearing Someone. Yeah. yeah. Well, it looks. So the second one will be. Mm. Yeah, after you. Sorry. Oh no, Jay. <laughs> I'm done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After you. It look. It look what? It look what? Oh, it looks very hot, Jay. Like I even feel that mm. I'm looking at now. <laughs> no, especially in their country, it's very cold. Okay. Yeah. Ah, oh. uh, you you can see such kind of words done if you watch Titanic movie, you know. In Titanic movie you you can see that high class lady wearing stuff. Yes. And then now let's see that when. Oh. Okay, formal and then so I think right one. Okay, so the photo, the photo in the left is traditional, I think. Yeah, sure. Okay, <laughs> couple in the left. The couple in the left is a traditional Warren style. And then meant, okay, meant in the right, right in the photo is 
gentleman, okay, formal style writing, a uh, formal style, sorry, formal style wearing. Okay. And informal would be like the casual style, right? So, like, you got it? Yes, yes, yeah, I got it now. Yeah, okay. I'm done. I'm done. Yes. Okay, Uncle Taka, yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I will share my screen. Yeah, here is a Linto Win Elvin. Oh, Philippine. Yeah. Oh, great. This is called Han Fu, like the most popular traditional dress in Chinese. Mm. Yeah. In China? Yeah, this this is a uh, formal way. Formal wearing This style? is informal. Mm. And this is men. Chinese mm. guy. You, I don't know. Okay. Don't can know. you can you maximize them? Sorry. Can you show one after another because the 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 pictures are too small, Bryce. Wait, what? Can you show us one after another? I mean that you no. Know, please show. Please um uh, make the photo bigger. Uh wait. Can you show? The wait wait wait. Wait. Please wait. So about Lamy, are you there? Me too. Yes, I'm done. Okay. So can you submit it? Informal? Um, do you mean the photo I already submitted? Oh, really? Where is it? Oh, Neto one. Yes, here yeah, I see it. Neto one is? Italian. Yeah, Nito, is that formal one or informal one? You doesn't mention anything else? No, it's traditional one. Because I can't buy any oh. of uh, formal and informal. Oh, okay. Yes. How about Lamy? Sure, can I share my Indian clothing? Okay, yes. Lami, you have to upload it in the groups, please. Sure, can you guys see the screen? Yes, we can uh, see so, it now. Gotcha, okay, okay. Gorgeous. So this is like an informal clothing for, like informal traditional clothing for women. Mm. Uh, mm. Like, uh, it's, it's called a shawa kameez. And it's like a dress mm. that is uh, to knee length. And it, is a, it has like different patterns and colors. Mm -hmm. And for the informal one, like as you all guys know, it's called a sari. And it has like uh, many beautiful yeah. patterns uh, and like a rope, uh, usually down to your ankles. But it's sometimes like uh, some fashion designs also change according to your race, like gorkas. Uh, I heard like Gokas were mm. like longer saris, like uh, long, longer mm. than the uh, high chair. And they also wear oh. jewelry for like weddings uh, with the saris. Mm. And this is like the informal, informal traditional men uh, clothing. It's called, uh, it's called a kurta and a pija uh, pajama. I don't really know how to pronounce the pajama. Pajama. Yeah, pajama. So like the pajama mm. is like the pants. I like the cargo fan, pants, like mm. uh, in the photo, and the kurta mm. is like the clothing that is like to Thailand. Mm. And uh, for like men, really don't change about their you know clothing for formal and informal, but they usually add like a a shawani, you know, like a yeah. robe. Uh, it, uh, it's to yeah. it's to like to uh, look grand and rich, because Indian likes different colors mm. and you know. Uh, spices and they spice their clothing up, so that's all. Awesome. And but uh, mm -hmm. some men also wear dhotis, like uh, Punjabis. Mm -hmm. They have like you know those big head bandy or something, something yeah. And yeah, sure, that's all. Mm. Okay, so they have traditional, uh, traditional ones. Uh, they have a formal traditional wearing style, like informal tr traditional wearing style. Yes. Yeah, sure. Mm. Okay. So, uh, I'll share, okay. Yeah, 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 okay, Taka. How about you can? Uh, 
Uh, can you see? Yeah, we can this, see. Yes. Uh, this is uh, for formal. Oh, no, sorry, sorry, informal. Informal, right? Yeah, hand food. This is called hand food, and oh, yeah, this sorry, is yes. this is formal way. Oh my god, <laughs> he looks unhappy. Why? <laughs> he has a mustache. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, like him. Yeah, and I got it too. <laughs> Okay. Yes, thank you. Whatever it is, you know, this is a new knowledge about. Ah, oh, here you can. What is you can? You can. You have to look for Karen. You can. Is that a formal one? I think this is not traditional style. Uh, okay. You can you 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 mean you mean Kaya or Karen? Kaya or Kaya? Kaya. right? So Karen, Karen wearing style is like that. I'm not sure. Oh yes. And this is not Karen. Uh, who is it? Mm -hmm. Current people. Okay, you can't. Let's see. Come on. Hmm. Mine is long, long, right? Mom, uh, yes, yeah. okay, you have to look for you have to look for mon traditional dress, right? Yes. Yeah, hmm. yeah, like mon traditional. Okay. Can you see my screen? Hello, can you see my screen? Yes, I can see. Okay, so how about others? Can you all see my screen? Yes, I can see your screen. Okay, so here is, you know, this one. This one is, I think, ancient traditional style. Right. Okay. And then here, this is like informal. Okay. This is like informal wearing style. And here, you can see it. Right. So the men's are wearing here, they are traditional style. Maybe they are foreigners. Okay. This one is like, this one is like formal wearing style. Maybe because you know it looks like they are going to somewhere the occasion. And here, yeah, that's it. So many uh, here are different. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So I think now you have got knowledge, right? Concerning with the traditional dress. Okay, so maybe previous time you just know only just traditional dress, but you may not notice that there is formal one and informal one, right? So now today you have got the the knowledge, you have got the new knowledge concerning with the traditional dress or they are informal dress and formal dress, right? Okay, so now let's move on to use of English. Do you see on page number 15? Okay, use of English compound adjective. You can use two words together, often linked with a hyphen to make a compound adjective. For example, allow sleeve to blocks. 
Okay, the, the definition is a blouse with long sleeves. Okay, that's the, we can call that long sleeve blouse. Next one is tight fitting piece of material. Okay, so tight fitting piece of material. Here's a hyphen is between tight and fitting. So it means a piece of material which fits tightly. Okay, so now let's do the exercise number three. You have to write the name of an item of clothing which each of the following compound adjective could describe. So number one, short sleeve. Okay, for short sleeve, you can write a short sleeve shirt, right? So how about number two, uncle, uncle length. How would you write that? And how about knee length? And then four is high heel, five is highly patterned, six is brightly colored. Okay, how would you make a word for uncle length? An uncle length what? It, I think it's like a long dress. Okay, so you can say an uncle length dress. Yes. Right? Okay, yeah. Then how about knee length? I guess, yeah, knee -length, uh, sorry, knee length trousers or dress? Oh, knee length trousers, not knee length trousers. We can use knee length like a dress. Or so, knee yeah, length. maybe dress. How about coat? You mean coat? Oh, okay, you can use a knee length coat, right? So, how about high heel? How would you make a word for high heeled? Uh, high heeled what? Uh, Elvin? Shoes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, maybe shoe. Okay, a high heel shoe. Yes. Elvin, what's your answer? Yes, as a white, uh, I guess, uh, white, uh, high heel shoes. Oh, high heel shoes, yes, correct. How about highly patterned? Blouse. Okay, highly patterned blouse. Okay, highly patterned blouse are very confused, right? Mess up with so many jewelry and then bling bling. And then like uh, like we call in Burmese is a sequence, so many sequence, right? So highly blouse, highly patterns blouse, right? Number six, bright, uh, brightly colored. Dress. Okay, brightly colored dress. Mm. Is there, have you ever seen brightly colored shirt? Brightly colored shirt. Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah. In YouTube, yeah. The the people from Dubai world that shed, which is made by clothes, I mean, bows and diamonds. Mm, brightly colored shirt sometimes. Who is it? Uncle, uncle thing that, right? Uncle thing that also sometimes he wears brightly colored shirt, right? Mm. Okay, it's like he uncle the that. Doesn't wear brightly colored shirts. Yes, yeah, I, I, I'm also about to say that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry. Uncle what? Sorry. 
Okay, oh. it's like you angle the guy, yes, yeah. Angle the guy doesn't wear brightly colored shirts. Why? Yeah, look, his name is yeah. He he just renamed him like Angel yeah. Taka as a nickname. Oh, yeah, I see. <laughs> Angel Taka is wearing with the old fashioned style, right? Uh, only just, you know, Angel Dainan is very active and then he usually, he mostly, not usually, he mostly wear brightly colored shirt, right? Sometimes bright green. Okay, sometimes bright green, sometimes orange. Yep. Sometimes yellow, really brightly colored shirts. But whatever it is, and then it is noticeable, right? So he is noticeable and everybody, everybody, uh, okay, everybody, he, uh, how should I say? He can catch up everybody's sign. Because it's strange, right? Because it's, it's strange. That is also one kind of, I think, persuasive skill to the audience. Right? Okay, so now let's go to page number 16. Oh, I think this is the one you like. Mind style. Are you there? Okay, before we go to listen, there is a question. How would you describe your attitude to clothes? Okay, how would you describe your attitude to clothes and fashion? Do you accept that? Do you accept that sometimes you are, okay, your clothes and your fashion are showing your attitude? I don't Do think so. Oh, yes. you don't think so? Yes. I okay, think I think so. I said yes. Yeah. He said no. Mm. So can you can you two tell us the why? Taka, you go first. Um, uh, mostly, mostly like like me type mm. of person. Yeah, kind of. How do I say? Like wearing like as your clothes like this oh, yeah. and night dress. <laughs> oh yeah, sometimes with a night dress with a pajama, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Pajama, okay. I think you know now you are also in pajama with a pajama, right? Yeah, I'm with pajama, but I'm a Chinese fashion. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so how about others idea? Okay, Lin, why do you say so? It's not because I think a people can wear everything he wants and it doesn't matter how he his attitude is. Mm. Okay, so Elvin, what's your idea? Long, long, you can't. Hong Kong can't. That's it. In my opinion, yeah. uh, mm. I'm, I'm Uncle Taka, but I didn't wear like plain, plain clothes. Yeah. <laughs> so clothes show your attitude. Uh, okay, yes. So, so your attitude is not bling bling. You are a calm down one, right? Yeah, I'm Uncle Taka. I'm not Uncle Taina. <laughs> okay, great. So how about Elvin? Yeah. Yes, mm. yeah, I think so. Yes, yes. Elvin, you know, today your voice is too... What should I say? I cannot hear very clearly. Oh, uh, yeah, I will think that. Is there any problem for your microphone? Yeah. Hello, Chair. Can you hear me? Okay, of course. Uh, I think, uh, yes. I think yes. Oh, you think yes. Why? Why do you say so? Uh, you know, when, we, um, when you go around with uh, like a brightly colored clothes, uh, you are like, uh, how can I say it? Very active. Uh, yeah, very attractive and kind of like you're some kind of like idiot, like you know <laughs> what you are wearing, like 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 that clothes. Okay. Have you ever tried like that? No, dear. I prefer pale no. colors. 
Oh, you pre you prefer pale color? Yes. Okay, Lolo, sleeping. Oh. Yeah, how about you? And yeah, to be honest, like I've never thought an a person attitude would be described on close, so I don't know how what oh. to say. <laughs> okay. So you mean that they are not related to each other? Yes, yeah, okay. like that. Yeah, because you know, sometimes you can see, right? Some people, they are wearing gentleman style, but their mind is not gentleman, right? So they are wearing like gentleman style, but their mind is not gentle, right? So you have seen, maybe you have seen such kind of people, right? That's why sometimes the cloaks are not related to the attitude. I think so. That's just in my point of view. Okay. I don't mean exactly. And then now let's go to reading. You have to match the text to the picture. Here's so four people, Gabriel, Maya, Becky, and Ricky. So there are four, um, four texts, right? Number one, shopping for clothes. Two, how would I describe? Three, people say I took scaffy. Four, I like wearing pasta shades. Okay, so which one is Gabriel? So who is Gabriel? Number one, two, three, four, which one? Stay reading. I think number two. Do you think number two? Yep. The paragraph two, the text two? Yes, yes. Okay, let's see number two. How would I describe my attitude to clothes? Well, I wouldn't say I was fashion cautious, but I like clothes that are quite stylish that fit well. I try to choose colors that suit me like blue. I don't like tight fitting clothes, but I don't like bagging clothes either. I might wear tracksuit, but I don't but I'd ever go out in them. How about others? Do you think is that correct? Don't you think number three? Okay, I chose Ricky for number three. Hmm. Do you choose Becky for number three? No, Ricky. 
Oh, Ricky. Oh, yes. A boy with a jean. Hmm. So how about the guy? So which number is Kerberal and which one is Maya, which is Becky? Maybe we are doing exercise too, right? We are, doing, we are doing my style reading one. Yeah, I know, like, what's number day and night? One, two, three, four. Oh, so you have to mat you have to do matching with the name and the paragraph one, two, three, four. Okay, so do you think Gabriel, Gabriel is text one, two, three, or four? How about Maya? Maya is text one, two, three, and four. Which one do you think like that? How about Lamy? I think Maya is number one. Uh-huh, yes, why do you say so? Uh, the, mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, after you. Uh, the person said that um shopping for clothes. So my uh, in in the picture he is with pack. That's right. Uh huh. Yeah, same idea. Check. Mia is number. Yeah. Like number one, uh, paragraph one. Mia is one. Of course, mm. you can literally see like she's holding some bags. I think she's buying some stuffs. Shopping mm. clothes. Yeah. But here it said that shopping for clothes doesn't interest me. Oh, sorry. Be careful, be careful, points. Okay, it doesn't interest me. So time consuming, right? Isn't then here the test said if he or she binds, okay, that binds do sh uh, doing shopping, okay, if he or she do sh does shopping, it's a time consuming. So anyway, I'm much more comfortable in sport clothes. Who may wear sport clothes? And then next one is, I just don't feel like me if I'm all dressed up. Okay, it means that he doesn't like wearing, how should I say, uh, wearing any other casual, uh, any other formal style. Yeah, it said that I just don't like, I just don't feel like me, right? So, and then, uh, I wear casual clothes, jeans, sports, shoes, okay, sweatshirts, and then stuff like that. I like bright color. It's fashionable for girls to have their hair color, but I don't have mine one. Okay, Ricky is number three. Ricky is number three. Yeah. Okay, let's see. People say I look scuffy, but I don't care what I look like. All I need is an old t-shirt. Okay, an old t-shirt, a pair of jeans, and some cover shoe. You have to look at the shoes. I can't imagine anything worse than spending a Saturday afternoon shopping for clothes. And another thing I really don't like is wearing formal clothes. Don't even go there. We had a family photo taken for my sister wedding. And I had to look smart. I had to wear a shirt and a tie. I didn't recognize myself. So I think number four, four would be easier. I like wearing pastel shades like pale blue and pale pink. I think they suit me. I like to look nice, but I don't like to stand out from the crowd. I definitely don't follow the style of any celebrity. I look at what girls my own age are wearing. Yeah. So is that Becky? I think it's Becky. Oh, really? I think Maya. Uh, Mia, Mia. Yeah, it's possible to Mia, right? Because we can guess the color she's wearing. Okay, so because, you know, Becky is not wearing pale blue, pale pink, right? Because 
it looks white. Okay. So you got one. Right, yeah, because no, no, because of the color pink, because yeah. like you can see, like I look at what girls my own age are wearing. Mm. I look at what mom is, uh, yes, yes, of course, of course. You know, because she is wearing, you know, blouse and then skirt, right? Of course. So I think Becky's is easy to see. Don't you think number one is Becky? Yes, I agree with that. Mm. I think Becky is number one because she likes to wear mm. shoes and sweatshirts. Okay, sweatshirts, yes. Sweatshirts and then stuff like that. She needs, she wants to wear some stuff. Okay. And then next one is I like bright color. It's fashionable for girls. Okay. And then uh, to have their hair color, but I don't have mine then. Okay. So a uh, number one is number one, maybe back here, right? So how about two and three? Um, two is Gabriel. Two is. Uh, Gabriel? Three is Gabriel or three is Gabriel? Three is Gabriel and three is mm. Ricky. Three must be Ricky, yeah. Because two said, how would I describe my attitude to clothes? Well, I won't say I was fashion cautious, but I like clothes that are quite stylish. Okay? When you compare Gabriel and Ricky, who is more stylish? Gabriel, Gabriel. Okay, Gabriel. Yeah, that's just one point. Quite stylish and that fit well. Okay, I tried to choose color that suit me, like blue. I don't like tight fitting clothes, but I don't like baggy clothes either. I might wear tracksuit bottom at all, but I'd never go out in Nam. Okay, he is a stylish one, right? So you can say that number two is Gabriel. Right, so the last one is Ricky. You guys say I look scruffy, scruffy, but I don't care what I look like. All I need is an old shirt, a pair of jeans. Okay, you can see he is wearing jeans. And then Sam covers shoe. So three is Ricky. Yeah, is there any question? No more, right. So next one. Okay, now let's go to language tip. Remember to use the structure have something done when you don't do something for yourself, but someone does it for you. It's fashionable for girls to have their hair color. Okay, so you better highlight language tip because this is important. Okay, you can note it down. Um, have, okay, this structure. Okay, that structure is have something done when you don't do something for yourself, but someone does it. Okay, for example, a haircut. Some people, if, if, if you say, I cut my hair, okay? If you say, I cut my hair, it means that just you hold your hair, then you cut it with the sex with yourself. That is called, I cut my hair, right? If you say, I have a haircut, Okay, so if I if you say I have a haircut means you go to the salon or you go to, okay, you go to the hairdresser and then hairdresser cut your hair. Do you understand how to use it right now? Okay, that's why here it said that we had a family photo taken for my sister's wedding. Okay, have a family photo taken. So they didn't take the photo themselves, right? Someone helped them. Someone took their photo. Okay. Uh, there are two, there are two examples. The first one is, it is fashionable for girls to have their hair cut color. 
And second one is we had a family photo taken for my sister's wedding. Are you okay? Yes. So I want to give you homework. Right? So you have to write at least three sentences. You have to write three, at least, not at most, right? You can write more than three, right? You have to write three sentences by using this structure. Oh, Alvin said easy, easy. Okay. <laughs> no, it's a sleeping emote. <laughs> I know that. It, I just make a joke. <laughs> I pretended that I don't know. Okay, so next one is. Mm. The next one is number three. Find at least three things in the four texts that you would say about yourself. Okay, and write them down. Okay, so your homework is on page number. Yeah, can you can someone write down your homework? Page number 16. Language tip. And second one is page number 17, number three. Okay, and then number nine. Okay, so can someone support me? Okay, please write down in your groups five. Okay, because well, because your friend your friend need to see it. Right. So I'll make sure again. Homework is page number 16, language tip. You have to write down three sentences. And then page number 17, number three and nine. Are you okay? Yeah. Okay. So yeah. thank you so much for today. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Thank you, Dishan. Thank you, Dishan. Yes.